In this last part of the topic, we'll be discussing about the Doppler's effect. So what does Doppler's effect stand for? Supposing you have a frequency or if you have a source of sound that is producing any kind of frequency, if that frequency approaches the source or the observer, in that case, the frequency changes, the relative frequency changes as a function of the velocity. Similarly, if it moves away, then the frequency decreases. So these types of things are characterized by the Doppler effect. Doppler effect exists both in the case of sound waves as well as light waves. Let's here characterize or try to understand about Doppler effect in sound. We'll now move on to the next thing that is known as the Doppler effect. So what does Doppler effect stand for? Doppler effect basically is there in the case of both sound as well as light. You would have often heard that there is this kind of blue shift and a red shift in the light that is coming to you. In a similar way, the same thing happens for the case of sound as well. So the sound, when we are talking about sound, so whatever is the apparent shift in frequency because of there being a relative motion of the observer and the source relative to the velocity of sound, that is what is meant by the Doppler effect. Yeah? So if I say that V is the velocity of sound that is in air and Vs is the velocity of the source of the sound, right? further V0 represents the velocity of the observer. So there can be multiple cases when the source is at rest, you can have source in motion, you can hear the observer as at rest in both the cases, then you can have observer in motion either towards the source or away from the source. So effectively there are multiple cases that we are going to consider in this. So let's try to take it case by case. So what we'll have the first one. So when we talk about the apparent frequency, apparent frequency is the frequency that is observed under the circumstance when there can be a observer moving towards the source or away from the source, similarly the source moving towards the source or away from the source. So the apparent frequency is defined as follows. So this is how the apparent frequency is going to be defined. Further, if I say that, the original frequency of the sound was this, V is the velocity of sound, so the velocity of sound in air or the medium and V observer is the velocity of the observer velocity of the observer with respect to the velocity of sound either towards the sound or away from the sound then v sound plus minus v source phase source which is producing the sound so using this you will take it like this so if you take the source is moving towards the stationary observer so the observer is stationary so v observer is going to become zero so when you are moving towards the observer that means the sound and the source are moving together so the relative velocity between them is going to be negative that's the reason you have a negative sign out here so the frequency is going to increase 